pray, I am teaching the part two of Satanic Calendar. The part two of Satanic Calendar. I make it very clear last week that even this COVID-19 we are passing through is Satanic Calendar. It's never the will of God in our lives. I make a reference to you, you can remember, when I mentioned the book of, of Genesis chapter 41, how Pharaoh dreamt a dream, yet seven fat cows, and the tiny one swallowed it. And Joseph told him, there is evil calendar. Seven years is coming where you will have partners in life. And seven years is coming where you will have problems and nobody will know whether you have ever been hit before. That is the Satanic calendar. I come here today in the name of Jesus that is above every other name. Whatever evil calendar that is working against your life, that died in Jesus' name. Today we are looking, looking into the calendar, first calendar of your destiny. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, from verse 4, let me read it for you. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, I want to read for you, verse 4. Because the Bible says there, before you were conceived in your mother's womb, he said, I knew you. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou formest out of thy womb, I sanctified thee. I have ordained thee a prophet unto a nation. And what God is saying here, very clear to Jeremiah, Jeremiah, you must have been a, 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 a victim here, you must have been this or that. I don't know the calendar that Satan has set in your life, but I, the Lord, before you come to this life, I have ordained you. You are not for no part. You are for a not prophet. There are people looking at me right now. Somehow, you are passing through things you never understand in life. May God bring you into the calendar of your blessing in the name of Jesus. Every evil calendar that is playing in your life, may God cancel it. May that calendar never continue. Before you were born, you exist. You exist in the hand of the Lord. How do I know that? I will show you another scripture. In Genesis chapter 22, 25, chapter 25, I'm going to read verse 22 for you. Let you understand what I'm talking about tonight. Genesis 25, verse 22. It says, and the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why should I thou? And she went to inquire from the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Two men of people shall be separated from thy bowel. And the one people shall be stronger than the other. And the elder shall serve the younger. Now, what is God saying here? God's calendar. Rebecca, was, she was pregnant, and labor, sudden labor started, and the children struggled in the womb, and they could not know what to do. And what she went and inquired from the Lord. Look at what the Lord said. The Lord said, Two nations are in your womb. Two nations are in your womb. Two nations are in your womb. That's what God says to her. But you know, 
These two nations today is only one nation we are seeing in the ground. They are no longer two because of the Spanish calendar. If you read from the thirty, you will see something happen. From the thirty, in the same chapter. And Esau said unto Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with the same red forty, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy best right. That is evil calendar. Who has taken your best right? What have you eaten that has taken your best right? Who walked on your senses and your original was taken away from you? And so, be ignorant of it or be ignorant of what it is. The evil calendar play in his life. He said, what is the best right for? And the Bible says, he said, take the best right and give me the forty. Are you here right now? You are doing things that are taking away your destiny. May God deliver you in Jesus' name. Are you here right now? I am talking to you right now. Check that thing you are doing. Whether you are you are selling your best life, check it very well. Because a lot of things people pass through today is what they do yesterday. They think it doesn't matter. They think it is a form. But at the end of the day, it wasn't a form. Somehow, the evil calendar played in the life of Esau. And the brother took the best right by the mortal of forty. I pray for that girl, I pray for that boy, that is selling, you are selling your destiny for nothing. For peanut, for banana, for meat pie, for what to wear. May God deliver you out in the name of Jesus. This evil calendar may need no place in your life. Evil calendar is very dangerous. Like today we have a nation called Nigeria. Look at this nation. We have almost about 30, 36 states. We have battle rock. Everything was there. That was what the two nations was in one woman's womb. Who knows what God planned in your life? Who knows that in you, you will have the company, you have what it takes to build a nation. And today, you are nowhere. You are begging. That is your must pray. That is must pray. Whether you eat the food knowingly or unknowingly, whether consciousness or unconsciousness, may God break that yoke. Brother, sister, let me tell you the bitter truth. When evil calendar is playing someone's life, it's very dangerous. If you open your Bible, the same book of Genesis, chapter 27, chapter 27, I want to read from verse 1. It came to pass that when Isaac was old, his eyes were thin, so that he called, he could not see, he called his son, his eldest son, and said unto him, My son, now I am old, he said, Behold, I am, I don't know the way, the time I will die. Go and find me venison. Go and find me food. Let me eat and bless you. Let me eat and bless you. If you read your Bible well, you say, Rebecca was listening to that, to that particular statement. Remember, Rebecca is the same mother to Jacob and the same mother to Esau. Esau was doing the first born. Are you? There you are bewitched by your mother. You won't know. Are you bewitched by your uncle? Somebody pretend that he loves you, but he don't love you. If they have ever said Esau, Esau, your mother is your problem. Will you believe it? Evil calendar play in his own life. And the Bible says, when the better heard it, he called his son, Jacob. He said, I would like you to take the blessing from your brother. Come. Even when the brother said, oh, my mother, my father must have known my boy. He said, he caught me. He said, no, let the cost be upon my head. I pray for you. 
Whosoever that vow to destroy you, to make sure that the blessing never play in your life, may God break them this hour in Jesus' name. Even as I'm talking to you right now, you that is watching me, I don't know who the evil calendar that is going on in your life. I don't know what to rob you your blessing. You are a guest. Anyone that promised you fail you. You have faced disappointment more than more than five times. Why the lame are getting married? No, it can't be like that. That's why I'm here now. To say that calendar, that evil calendar must go break. It must break. Whoever that give you that balance is not your portion. 